Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the extended ECM DF forecast for the United States for today's second video. So this is your six weeks look ahead for America. And I shall get on that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say that the first video today was the uh, 6 a.m. upload. And uh, we're going to be live streaming our 10 to 14 day at uh, 6 o'clock this evening. So I shall see you live uh, for that one. Please like, share, subscribe on the videos. And thank you so much everybody. Uh, for doing that. Right, okay, let's start off with the uh, week one mean cell pressure anomaly for the uh, United States then. So we've got low pressure across the northern parts of uh, America. Some high pressure is out in the uh, Pacific Ocean. Just off the west coast, <laughs> the 500 millibar high to nominally looks like that. So we've got a ridge in the uh, east and in the north east. We've got a trough uh, in the northern and central parts of America too. Dipping the jet stream, doing something a little bit like that. The uh, temperature anomaly is very mild across uh, many northern and eastern parts of America, exceptionally so through the Midwest, around the Great Lakes, in towards the eastern and northeastern part of America. Also, the southern and southeastern parts of the states looking uh, very, very mild in the week. It is a lot colder when we come further west with that trough of low pressure. So, the, the cold conditions are across those western parts of America with the colder and average conditions from the Pacific to the Rockies. And uh, precipitation-wise, quite unsettled well, week to come. As well in many areas, so we're wetter than average through the southwestern states, somewhat unusually dry than average in the uh, northwest. And then through the Midwest and in towards the eastern states, also looking rather wet, although on the eastern seaboard it's drier where we're closer to that ridge of high pressure. Right, week two will be the 23rd to the 30th of January. And a bit of a change this week, so what we build up the high pressure out to the northwestern part of America. Uh, and it looks like we've got a bit of a chop beginning to dig into some of those eastern, northeastern states. Could that start to bring some colder air southwards into the uh, northern and eastern part of America? Let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights. So uh, we can see that we've got a trough of below average heights gradually pushing eastwards, although we still have this ridge of the uh, eastern seaboard. So that will keep things mild up the east coast. But this chop could be starting to push colder air into, uh, you know, both central parts of the states in particular, with high pressure again out in the Pacific Northwest. How's the temperature anomaly looking for week two? That's it. So cold air is expanding, uh, very cold across the uh, central western parts of America, and uh, clearly the uh, milder air, the warmer air, is retreating over towards the east coast. So it does look as though uh, things are getting colder there across America, into the uh, final week of uh, January. What about precipitation wise? It uh, looks like that. So, uh, pretty wet in the southeastern corner uh, and uh, relatively uh, unsettled up the eastern seaboard, actually. So, right way up the east coast uh, from like Florida all the way up to the, <coughs> excuse me, to the far northeast. Looks a bit wetter than normal. Meanwhile, out towards the Pacific, it's uh, dry on average on the western part of America, or in the western part of America. And then in the Midwest, it's also a little bit on the drier side uh, as well. Right, well, winter returns then to much of the states in the second week of January. What about week three? That'll be the 30th of January to 6th of February. That's how it's looking. Um, Quite messy. So you've got some higher pressure towards there and into the... Central states as well, some low pressure around there, and then some high pressure down there. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights, see what that's doing. So, uh, that's retreating the trough away to the northwest again, uh, with the ridge strengthening in the east of the south. Suggesting that uh, the, the milder air fights back into the first week of February, maybe for the central and eastern parts of America. Northwest, southeast split with temperatures. So cold in these northern and western states, relatively mild though in the eastern and southeastern uh, states for uh, week three. And precipitation wise, um, it looks quite unsettled. So above average rainfall. From the west coast, going through the central states, which was the eastern part of America. Uh, that looks like a relatively unsettled week, doesn't it? Week 4 is going to be the 6th to the 13th of February. Again, quite weak signals from a mean cell pressure point of view. Not sure we've got enough there really to work with. What about the 500 millibar heights? Um, so that one has high pressure 
in the eastern and southeastern part of America and also off the west coast with lower pressure up here, one of the temperature anomaly is doing. So still hinting at a northwest southeast split, really. Still cold and average in these northern western states, still relatively mild in the southern and eastern states. And the precipitation anomaly, again, rather unsettled, about dry in the southwestern part of America, wet in the northwest part of America, and uh, looks quite wet over in the eastern states as well, doesn't it? And then week five will be the 13th to the 20th of February. Uh, once more, we've got the high pressure in the west. Otherwise, quite weak signals. The precipitation at uh, 500 meters of our heights. I'm talking about uh, still with that ridge in the southeast. Well, it doesn't want to shift, does it? And uh, also off the uh, Pacific coast as well. Two ridges on either coast, really. Uh, precipitation, temperature-wise, on what we're talking about is uh, cold and average in the, uh, from the Pacific to the Rockies, mild and average in the eastern part of America, up the east coast. And precipitation for week five looks like that dry uh, out west, wetter over there. Right, finally, week six will be the 20th, 27th of February. Uh, very weak signal now, just some high pressure toward the Pacific coast. Uh, again, 500 millibar heights looking like that. So, uh, yes, there is some high pressure in that southwestern corner. Otherwise, putting a question mark, uh, temperature anomalies for week six. Very weak signal, perhaps suggesting things going a little bit colder for more eastern areas. It looks like that, those mild and average temperatures are retreating out into the Atlantic, maybe. Maybe. And the precipitation anomaly finally for week six looks like that. And again, it's a very weak signal, as it often is in the sixth week. So it looks like winter's going to have a go. It's very mild this week, of course, away from the west. It looks like winter is going to have a go uh, to pushing through next week. Probably going to be uh, fought off by that ridge in the southeast part of America that will back the cold air. You know, back away to the northwest into early February. And then I'm not sure the Mars really got that much of a handle on things, you know, beyond the first week of February. Uh, I think the Mars possibly uh, loses the plot a little bit. Uh, with, uh, you know, with, with the signals from, like, mid to late February. Right, so we'll do, or maybe just a snapshot of what the model is showing. Could look completely different when we uh, look at this again next Wednesday for next week's extended USA broadcast. Um, but that's how it looks today. We're going to be back later on with our Wednesday evening live stream. Live stream at 10 to 14 there. So I shall see you live for that one for this week's USA forecast. That's all for now. And thanks so much.